Alright guys, this is the uh, Cayo Perico Heist. I'm going to be showing you all how to do this today. Uh, right now I'm stealing bear bonds. Uh, for your approach vehicle, you're going to want to use the uh, long fin. For your infiltration point, you're going to want to use the main dock. For your compound entry, you're going to want to use the uh, drainage tunnel. For your escape point, you're going to want to use the main dock. For your time of day, you're going to use nighttime. And your weapon loadout can be anything you want, as long as you have suppressors. And you don't need any support crew. Alright. Go ahead and uh, start this up. Alright, so you guys are going to uh, spawn in here. You can do a little cutscene. Uh, as soon as you can drive, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, turn right and just follow the coast up to where you scoped out the drainage tunnel just want to go ahead and follow the coast up there uh, you don't got to worry about any of the patrol boats or like the mines in the water you don't got to worry about any of those they're not going to spot you or blow you up or nothing once you pull up to the uh, drainage tunnel here you're going to want to uh, hop out of the boat and jump into the water once you're in the water, you're going to press left on the D-pad to get a rebreather, so you don't drown. You get down to this gate, you're going to press right on the D-pad. And uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. Just hold down RT and hover over these lights, green lights. And go ahead and... Once you cut out all those, the character is going to push open the gate. And you want to go ahead and swim through the tunnel. You're going to swim up to this yellow dot and press right on the D-pad. It's going to be a little glitchy, but don't worry about that. It'll fix itself. You guys are going to go ahead and swim this ladder here, and he's going to come out a door inside the compound. Now, once you're able to, you're going to want to uh, pull out your head up these stairs with your AR, and you're going to shoot this guard in the head, and you can grab his key card if you want to. It's not necessary, though. And then you head out this way, and there's going to be another guard here. You're not going to shoot him yet. You're going to wait for that guard back there to move, and then you can shoot him. Once you shoot him, you come in here and go right, and then go left. And you're going to go ahead and run straight up these stairs. There's going to be two guards here, but you don't want to worry about them yet. You're going to want to shoot these, this camera first, then you can shoot these guards. Now when you're shooting these guards, you want to shoot the right one first, and then you can shoot the left one. And you're going to come around here, and you're going to want to shoot this guard out here. Once you shoot him, you're going to want to shoot this guard, and he's going to have the key we're looking for. He might not always have the key, but right now he does. And we're going to head around this way. And uh, we're going to shoot this guard in the head. Then we're going to head up these stairs here. We're going to go to El Rubio's office. And shoot this guy in the head too. Now once you get into Rubio's office, there's two chances for paintings to spawn. One there and there. There's also a uh, secret safe right here. Um, it's going to have some cash in it for you to grab. And this doesn't add to your loot bag, but it's like an extra 70, 80k. And also if you did the uh, pistol mission, this is where you look in the drawer. And you get this pistol here. And that's doing by doing a small small key mission in uh, Los Santos 
Now uh, you're gonna head back down the stairs instead of having to hack all that. You can come down all the way here, and you wanna make sure you shoot this juggernaut because it can be a little pain in the end. And you're gonna wait for him to come around the corner here. and shoot him. Now what you can do is you can jump down the railing here and there's a little gate here that you can unlock with the keys you just got and this is where you'll find your target. You have to hack one keypad but uh, this hack is pretty simple. You just want to uh, you just want to set all of uh, the ones that looked wrong to the first one and then you can go one and then one two and that's the uh, the uh, fingerprint now once you do the fingerprint you're going to be able to go through this gate here and then uh, you want to open up this gate with your burning torch thing and Pavel is going to tell you the safe code. Once you get up to the safe, it's 56, 43. Then you're going to open that up. And you're going to grab the barrier bonds. And uh, there you go. Here's your, here's your main, uh, main target. And instead of going back out the way you came, you're going to come out this way. And there's two sides to this, so you just come out this way. And there's really nothing else in the compound for you. So, you just want to head out of the compound here. You want to make sure you shoot this guard in the head so he doesn't catch you. And you can run through this way. And you want to make sure you shoot this guy in the head too. And you can just head to the main gate here and um, exit through the main gate. You're gonna have another little cutscene here. You guys are gonna try to push open the door, but there's a button he presses to open up the door. So you don't gotta worry about that. You guys are gonna run out here and you're gonna run straight. And you're gonna wanna make sure you shoot this guard in the head. And then you're gonna run up this uh, pathway again. And you want to make sure you shoot this guy in the head too. Now there's two guards up here. You're going to shoot the right one first. Make sure you shoot him in the head. And then this one you can shoot as much as you want. And then you can shoot that camera there. And hop on this motorcycle. And what you can do is you can go up the mountainside here. So once you get here, you're going to want to uh, make sure you shoot the guards here. You're going to want to shoot him in the head and run down here. There's going to be another guard right here standing in front of where you want to go. Make sure you shoot him in the head. Then there's going to be another guard all the way down there that you need to shoot as well because he's going to be coming your way. Don't shoot him until he comes closer because there's two guards there. And then you want to shoot him in the head. And you can come to this gate over here. Uh, there's nothing in it right now. Um, usually there can be stuff in there. You're going to want to then just take this bike and you can head on down to the main docks area. You're going to wait for that car to pass and hop off your bike here. I don't know why he's stopping, but he's going to go ahead and keep going. You're going to want to run down this pathway here and
I'm going to shoot him in the face. And there's going to be another guard on the rim to turn around before you uh, walk out there. And once he turns around, you can go ahead and shoot him in the head. And run into this building here. And grab whatever loot is in here. Now, I'm getting a little unlucky with the loot spawns, but uh, usually there's about four things you can grab that will fill up your bag uh, with the one we just went to and this one combined. Now what you can do is run down this way, in between here, there's a sniper up all the way up top there he's gonna look away and there's gonna be a guard on the docks here who you can shoot in the head and there's a boat here that you can just hop right into and um... at this point you just uh go ahead and I mean I guess if you don't get caught you can just drive out but most likely that sniper will see you he'll sound the alarm and you're just gonna wanna like dip out of here like fast as you can drive out there's gonna be patrol boats shooting at you people shooting at you and El Rubio's helicopter is gonna come straight to your location and you just wanna keep driving straight out And that's the end of the heist. I mean, once you get to a certain point, he's going to stop following you. And um, you get to keep that golden pistol. And uh, there he goes. He's it's going to spawn you in here. And you're going to have a cut scene here where you hand the guy the loot. And he's going to hand you an envelope. And then going to show you with uh, Madrazo, I think, right after this screen, and uh, you get to keep your money. Uh, good luck, have fun, and uh, see you all next time.